Bible. This is uh, this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. They that hate you shall reign over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron, and your earth as brass, and your strength shall be spent in vain, for your land shall not yield her increase, neither shall the trees of the land yield their fruits. And if ye walk contrary unto me, and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more plagues upon you according to your sins. Come. All right, we're going to face the east, right? I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechach Kodash. And double honors to the elder apostle GMS who grew well. Salute you, brothers, for pushing this word. And truth is sincere and strength by Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah. Right? And you sisters and brothers that's listening and learning and growing in this spirit. Shalom to you too. I trust me, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shah. Right? We are here to prophesy the downfall of the wicked, destructive kingdom known as Babylon the Great, right? And gather the elect by the word and power of Yahweh Shema was shot in truth and sin, right? Uh, today's date is uh, Saturday, uh, March, I think it's the 10th? Saturday, March 10th. Hey, 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 oh, hey, I'm the 10th. So I like it about that. I don't know why I had March. You know what I'm saying? But today is Saturday, April 10th, right? 2021. And the reason why y'all haven't seen videos being loaded up, you know what I'm saying? I've seen it in previous videos, but I'm saying it in this too. Because we got two strikes and I haven't been able to upload videos uh, two weeks due to hate speech, due to hate speech, okay? So, me and the brother been in YouTube jail because of hate speech, okay? But as soon as they lift us and let us free out of YouTube jail, the video is going to pop right off up. See? So, all right, read what you got to get in Leviticus. All right, this is, uh, this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. What is that talking about? I will set my face against you. That's the heavenly Father saying, look, I will set my face against you. Who? Israel. Go ahead. They that hate you shall reign over you. He said, they that hate you shall reign over you. In other words, rule over you. So, because of disobedience, the Heavenly Father allowed nations, our enemies that hate us, He allowed us to go in slavery up under them. And they was going to rule over us. Okay? That's how the Mosai, Yahweh Shemam Shah worked. He used these nations to punish us, okay, by allowing them to rule over us as a people. So that's the situation we're in because of uh, we made the Heavenly Father and the Son angry, and the Heavenly Father and the Son showed his hatred towards us for us being disobedient, allowing people who hate us rule over us. Hate is in the Bible. Go ahead, bro. And ye shall flee when none pursueth you. It said ye shall flee when none pursueth you. The captivity that we in right now is up on the east of Edom. Jake will hear a rumor of Esau 
see them coming to the slave patrol and they would take off running, man. Okay? They would hear a rumor and they would take off running. So, the scriptures say Jake will flee with none for sure. So, Jacob get out of the dodge when you hear the so called white man come. Even if you hear a rumor, they'll get out of it. They'll get out of wherever they at. Okay? And the so-called white man, he's our Edom, is our enemy. Okay? And he's raining, making movement over us. Go ahead. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then will I punish you seven times more for your sins. Seven. Seven means completion. And sin is transgression of the law. First John 3 and 4. Right? And it said, I will punish you seven times for your sin. So, if you sin, the Most High said, look, I will get you seven times more than your sin. That's what he's saying there. Read it again, bro. This is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 18. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. So, when the Israelites break the statute of commandments, whatever commandment they break it, the Most High will pay them seven times whatever they commandment they break it. It is 613 laws. Okay? Ten is the foundation of it. 613. Okay? 613 represents add up to 10. But it's 613 laws. Okay? So, the most time will give Israel seven times more for one sin. Completion. Read it one more time, bro. Israel is the Negro Latinos and Native American. Okay? Go ahead. This is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 18. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then I will punish you seven times more for your sins. And I will break the pride of your power, and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. Heaven is iron, earth is brass, slavery. Okay? Slavery. Now I'm going to go here and dance, and I'm going to read it. Okay? That's dealing with slavery. Okay? Now we're going to check out Daniel because you would say there's a lot of people on this earth went through slavery. Okay? Went through slavery. A lot of people have went through that. Okay? But let's see if Uh, let's see how the Heavenly Father thinks about the children of Israel going into slavery. Okay? People, like I said, people would say a lot of people went into slavery in this world. But let's see what the Bible says about the children of Israel, which are the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. Let's see what he thinks about them going into slavery. This is Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. Yea, all, the, all Israel have transgressed the law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the hope that is written in the law of Moses, that's what we're reading out of, the Levitical law, okay? Out of the law of Moses, the servant of the power because we have sinned against him. Verse 12. Daniel 9 and 12. And he had confirmed his word which he spake against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven had not been done as had been done unto Jerusalem. So, out of 
the whole earth and we up under the heavens, right? Because the sky is the heavens and we up under the heavens, you know, down here on earth. The heavenly father said, out of all the nations on the earth, out of all the 18 nations on the earth, no nation have been done like the children of Israel when it comes to slavery. No nation. Okay? Verse 13. And it is written, the law of Moses, all this evil is come upon us, yet may we not our prayers before the Lord, our power, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Okay? So here's what you got to give together with me. I will make your heaven. Alright, this is uh, Leviticus chapter 26 verse verse 18. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me, then will I punish you seven times more for your sins and I will break the pride of your power and I will make your heaven as iron and your earth as brass. See that? See that right there? So, I have a whole heavens, no nation have went through what the Negro Latinos and Native Americans have went through when it comes to slavery. Which are the children of Israel. The curses have been poured out upon us as a people. And our enemies are ruling over us. And every time we transgress the law, our enemies was able to rule over us reign over us and show us how much they hated us. And by us transgression, the statute of laws and commandments, the Heavenly Father showed us how much he hated that we did that by allowing us to go into slavery. So hate is in the Bible. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, verse 20. And your strength shall be spent in vain. For your land shall not yield her an increase, neither shall the tree of the land yield their fruits. So everything that we planted, when we had control of the land, it did not produce the fruit like it was supposed to. We were being punished. And now on this side, we don't control no resources. Nothing. These heathen nations control it. Okay? Even down in the, the Israelite in South America. Heathens control that. Okay? We don't control nothing. We are in captivity, man. As a nation of people. We don't control no resources, man. That's why if Esau shut everything down, shut everything down, shut the commerce down, Jacob be done. Okay? We'll be done as a people because we go to him for every want and every need. Man. Especially when it comes to resources. See what you got? So, what verse is that? Uh, that was verse 20. Alright, continue 21. Alright, this is uh, verse 21. And if ye walk contrary unto me and will not hearken unto me, I will bring seven times more more plagues upon you according to your sins. That's why Israel is plagued as a people the way they plague, man. Their health is on a decline, man. Okay? The Negro Latinos and Native Americans got every disease that you can name, man. And their health is on a decline, man. As a people, man. Okay? Because of our sins, man. So, by us transgressing the law, the most I said, for that one sin, I'm going to get you seven times. And the New York Life of Native Americans have broke all 16, 16, uh, 1613 laws.
You see? So that's why as a people, we destroy it. Okay? From the sole of our feet all the way up to the top of our head as a people, man. And within that health decline, you got heathens reigning over us in Hagar. On top of that. 